I believe in you. You want my son to Just keep smiling. Um, when I was little, um, I would say, really, it all started there. God blessed me with G.I. Joe. And I grew up playing with the toys and rekindled interest with it as an adult. And my wife put up with it. And she's been wonderful. And without that, I never would have had the massive collection that led me to know all of you guys. And um, the boys have been amazing. A man couldn't have two finer sons. They've come with me to these shows and they've supported me. And over the years, uh, I met Brian, and then Brian started giving me graphics work to do. And uh, with the addition of the Transformers license, that became uh, a need for another position to be filled. And so, stepping out on faith, I packed up the whole family in Georgia, and we moved to Texas after having lived there our whole lives. And um, I would say it's been nothing short of um, a, a miraculous thing. Um, I've been honored to be able to work on something that meant so much to me growing up and to be able to work on product that hopefully has given you some joy and if that's if, if I've accomplished anything if I've made anybody happy to have something that they really think is cool then then I feel like I've, I've done something And if there was a deco you didn't like, uh, Laney didn't do it. Somebody else did. Okay. I want to. I want to thank my family. I want to thank Dave for his incalculable amount of knowledge of GI Joe and his vision for the types of toys we should make. Um, I want to thank Todd Pleasant for his incredible contributions on Adventure Team Comics and the magazine. Um, that was just something that was a joy to do with him. I want to thank Daryl for being a champion um, for the brand and for the club and for the collectors. And uh, as I'm about to lift anybody else, I'll, I apologize. There's so many people that um, have touched my life through this hobby. And I just want to thank all of you for everything. So, thank you. You know, and I really didn't ask Karen or Angie if they wanted to say anything. They probably don't, so that's why I didn't ask. But when you have employees such as Lanny and Karen and Angie and Dave, you know, they really care about everything they do, so they're going to try to do their best for you. You know, even as to their chagrin, or as the saying goes, you know, no good deed goes unpunished, you know, down the road. So sometimes it's, it's created a twist for them, but they've always tried to do the best they can for you. Um, but Angie and Karen, stand up. Now Angie, you know, we moved, you know, we started in Raleigh, North Carolina, and then we moved to Texas, and we, you know, Heather worked for us some part-time in Raleigh, and uh, we moved to Texas, and we had to start hiring people. And so one of the first people we hired was Angie. And and don't ask me why she put up with me for 22 years almost. Um, but it's, you know, without her, we wouldn't have the organization and the care and the detail and making sure that your stuff is right, as right as we can make it. You know, and then, then for years we went through multiple shipping people that were part-time and all that, and finally um, Karen came, and we go, wow, she's so small. Can she, can she lift all those boxes and do that stuff? And yeah, we said, yeah, I think she's the one. And, and uh, she's been, been with us a 10, 10 years, some, eight years, eight years. So she's been around a long, long time too, taking care of your orders and going to that hot, nasty warehouse and pulling your stuff and going like, why do you have 400 different things in one order? Couldn't you just order the same thing 400 times? Yeah. It's been a lot easier that way. But again, thank you for all your hard work and the things that you do in the, in the care to detail. Um, and Dave, you know, the walking encyclopedia joke. Hey Dave, can we make this? No. What about this idea? No. Hey, the shattered glass worked in Transformers. Can we do it, Joe? No. No. <laughs> 
So he did his best to corral me as far as we, he could. There's some things that I made him do. So, you know, again, it's my fault, so you can blame me. But again, Dave, thank you for your, your knowledge and everything. And then Lanny, you know, when we did, we got the Transformers, I knew that we had to, now we have to do things in color. They were much more visual or, oriented than this group had been. Um, we need more capacity. I can't do the layout. I, you're beyond my ability you know, in software and stuff like that for layout, and I needed a real graphic artist. The first, the Crimson Guard uh, set, I think, I helped do the deco, or, and so it looked like a child had taken a crayon in Photoshop. <laughs> yeah, this is this color, you know, whereas Laney, when you see Laney's, is what I say is everything Laney makes is fake. You know, there's nothing you see that he's done that's real <laughs> when you see it on a screen, because it's all, he does such a great job of taking something that is existing and making it into something totally else. It's just amazing, you know, this man's skill set. So, you know, we all wish him, you know, the best of luck in continuing his, you know, artist career, because uh, he's real, truly a great talent. So give him another round of applause. You know, and then there's my family that have put up with me for my grouchiness and all that stuff through this, and my children that we forced into work, you know, slave labor. I don't want to do the convention, but you have to. <laughs> so, you know, good thing that the, uh, you know, Child Protective Services didn't catch on to those things <laughs> along the way. Um, but we're going to, you know, we're really going to miss all you guys. Uh, we've worked with tons of people at Hasbro. Daryl's been like the, the tip of the spear. But I looked in my contacts not too long ago and, and just put in Hasbro. I had over a hundred email addresses I still have in my file of people we've worked with there. So sometimes I look at the picture and go, now who who is that again? Oh yeah, they were on the brand 15 minutes. So anyhow, <laughs> then they were moved to something else, you know, but it happens a lot. So in corporate America, people move around. So you've got to learn to work with different people and different personalities. I mean, we ever had Mr. Minch on a bench, you know, on the brand for a while, at least GI Joe didn't end up in the park, you know, who knows with Neil Hoffman. But um, we're really going to miss all you guys because, again, without you, uh, there is no, there is no GI Joe. You know, um, it, it truly is amazing what y'all do with this. But we have to thank God for what He's given us. There's a saying or something you learn in school or graduate school that they say, do what you, there's a book called Do What You Love and the Money Will Follow. Here you go. <laughs> now if I had my glasses, I could actually read what I wrote on some of this. You know, and Todd mentioned this a while ago that, you know, we came for the toys and we stayed for the friends. So it's again, we all collect the friends. It's not really the plastic. Um, out there, but it, it really is all of you guys. The other people I want to thank um, is the local, is the FBI, um, because you didn't know this, but there's people that have been undercover at this show. We've had extra law enforcement. Um, there's been all kinds of things that have happened because of things that happen online. And one of the things I want to ask people is to be nice. Okay, you don't know who you're talking to. You know, it's okay to jab at your friends. You know, you know, I can come up to Dave and go, Dave, your hair looks awful today. Could you do something about it and, you know, make fun of him or, or tease him around? But online, you don't know who you're dealing with. You don't know who they are. Your mom was right. If you don't have something nice to say, don't say anything. Just be silent because you don't always have to chime in. Okay, sometimes let it go. Be more frozen, okay? Let it go. <laughs> All right. And Dylan will love this one. You know, I almost played the uh, Wicked song, but I'm not going to, you know, because I knew you, I've been changed for good. But anyway, the one thing I will say in closing is, so the G.I. Joe 3 and 3 quarter inch saying is, knowing is... So what's the other half? It's the doing. So he knows. So my dad is to them. You know, and take this forward in life. It's not the knowing that's important, it's the doing. So go out and do great things, be the finest, help other people, and along the way, continue collecting G.I. Joe. So, yo, Joe.
Now, in case you were wondering, the line for next year forms up here in the front of the hallway. So I know you're.